you're going to see you're going to see this on the TV on Wednesday. Yes. Because yeah, we were watching as is one. I mean, obviously you saw you saw what he said about you. I know. So I got to ask about that. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, what, what are you doing? Welcome to Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. I'm Jeff Lemieux. For the second straight drive, I'm joined by a 17-year-old homegrown. This time, it's Noel Buck. Noel, how you doing, man? Doing all right. Thanks so much for being here. Of course. You guys are obviously in the middle of a really important three-game homestand right now. Got off to a little bit of a difficult start with the loss to the Galaxy on Sunday night. But how does that now kind of shape things for these next two games against Chicago and New York City, especially that game on Wednesday night against the Fire? Well, these games are both very important, and um, I think the whole team's ready to go. You know, we're annoyed, we're angry about that, about the loss. So I think, especially next game on Wednesday, we're, we're gonna be ready. Obviously, three home games in the span of a week is a huge opportunity to pick up points. That's the most important thing. But three home games in the span of a week, also an opportunity for three game day fits. Because I know a lot of guys take this really seriously. And some guys go, high fashion, some guys go casual. Uh, what's your game day fit aesthetic? What makes a good game day fit? Well, I'm not I'm not too educated on fashion, you know? I mean, a whole life I'm dressing up in casual, sporty, sporty, sporty gear. But um, yeah, I'd say I'm more casual. You know, I just got some nice comfortable shorts, nice comfortable shirt, got some nice shoes on, my Stan Smiths, always rock those. But yeah, pretty casual, I think. So you kind of know your lane and you stick to it, which yeah. I think is that's really all you can do with fashion, right? Oh, for sure. I, th I think if I pull up in some of these, what some of these other guys fits, I'd look ridiculous. You know, I stay in my lane, you know, stay there. I think I think that's the right move. Uh, speaking of staying in your lane, since we're in the car, mm -hmm. I mentioned that I had Esmir on my last drive, and we we got into driving a little bit. I asked him. Now I'll be honest. Like I kind of set him up, right? I asked him who is the better driver of the two of you. Naturally, I expected that he was gonna say himself. Oh, he yeah. did. Then he mentioned that he feels like your parking could use a little work. So I just wanted to open the floor for you to be able to provide a response. Well, I am the better driver. I know that for sure, because he has not driven in a year. He's, he has his license before me, but he's, he hasn't driven as much as me. Uh, with that with the parking, that was my first time on my JOL that, on that Instagram. So, obviously I hadn't needed to park then. So, you know, I didn't have to practice, but especially now, but in day in, day out, I'm practicing parking and driving, driving much more than him. So I, I am obviously the better driver. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad we got both sides of the perspective here. And I think now the only logical thing to do is probably to have some sort have of a race, driving or parking competition between the two of you just to, just to figure out exactly. I think we get, I think we get on the track. All right, I like, I like that. Let's get on the track. Let's, Let's do get, it. Get a couple of nice cars and just have a race. All know? right. Let's do it. It's the only only way to solve it. Well, Noel, really appreciate you taking the time and, the, and best of luck on Wednesday against the Firemen. Thank you. This has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. Come into any Dan O'Brien Auto Group store today and get your awesome protection plan. Keeping it awesome.